Hello folks, second entry of the day because it's a good day and I just got home from doing that lecture and workshop. Forgot to tell you, I was also, I also uh, conducted a workshop after the uh, lecture. It went fantastic. And they did um, broadcast it live via Zoom. I don't know the link. When I, when I find it, I'll share it. But I just now see on uh, Facebook that some friends, a friend of mine in Colorado who actually I had no idea, I, I don't think he follows my channel, but he said he watched it and he thought he said it was awesome. It re went really well. I like people and I like it when you can't, what I call, I like it when we catch a vibe. I like it when we can all like feel like oh yeah this is this is interesting this is good and that's what happened and um, um, a few personal friends who are not students came to the uh, came to the lecture which was cool and uh, my one friend Kevin told me that was that was punk rock that was very punk rock of course see I don't I'm consistently who I am. And if I'm going to cuss, I cuss. And whatever I'm thinking, if I think it's appropriate, I say it. And that's how I did it. And, um, you know, uh, the professor was quite pleased. But most importantly to me was the response from the students. And um, it went really well. Um, after I did my talk, and really, uh, it was a pep talk, an encourager. You know, where I talk about values the way I talk about them here, you know, encouraging the guys, people to, you know, do what you love, be careful who you align yourself with, work with people you like, you know, and, and listen to your own heart and, and, and gut. Don't be a yes man, do what you want. That's, I stress that very strongly. I'm kind of hyped up because it really went well and uh, I thank the uh, professor Seth Schaefer I said I really appreciate you know you um, contacting me to do this thank you so much so I'm just getting on here sharing that um, when I find these the link to the actual lecture I will post it in the notes here or the next video that I do Oh, let me just sit for a minute with you folks. Um, yeah, interestingly, on my last video, I only had to delete one stupid comment. Did you all see that? I don't know what's wrong with people. I don't know what what you what you're trying to accomplish with your with your ignorance. Ignorance. I don't understand it. So I just I just delete it and block it. Don't understand it all. <sighs> so before I went, I did listen to Third Ear Band's album, Alchemy. It came out in 1969. Some young people playing old medieval instruments. And this is really cool because it sounds very improvised and very raw. Third Ear Band, Alchemy. I enjoyed that. I did pop on a bit of mother tongue to remind to, to remind myself what it's like, and it is. It's a it's a sound work, and it it's it's an industrial sound for the the first sight anyway, like like you're entering underground catacombs where pipes are hissing, and there's water dripping, and it's interesting. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. I'll talk about this uh, a little bit. Well, I can re I actually, I can review this now. So before I left for um, my lecture, um, James Quato Ballerin stopped by and announced and dropped this off to me. This is the new album by Josh Hoyer and Soul Colossal, Omaha Band, Greenlight. My good friends, that's my good friend James right there who 
plays tenor sax in the band. He dropped the album off. And over here is my good friend. He's a, he's a friend and almost, I'm kind of paternal with him. He's almost like a son to me, Blake. Love him. And uh, then on the end here, Harrison, for a minute, was going to be our new drummer in Chemicals because Blake, you know, plays with him in this band and, and Harrison's good. It didn't work out time-wise. It just didn't work out. But um, they had been uh, meaning to get me a copy of their brand new album, Green Light. I told them I wanted vinyl. I don't want a CD because that's what I collect. Now this is um, modern day soul. That's what it is. And Josh Hoyer has a, a good, authentic, authentic soul type of voice. He sings it and you feel it and it's authentic. He's got the moves vocally and the band is good. My, my boys on horns, the whole band, they're all good players. Musically, it's not what I'm into. It's that R&B, almost bluesy kind of thing. Just, I'm just tired of it. My friends understand and there's no reason for any of them to take it personally. There's nothing to take personal. They're good at what they do. And I dare say that some of you people watching this will really like this album. Look it up. Green Light by Josh Hoyer and Soul Colossal. You might have even seen them. They tour a lot. And they've been over to Europe. So, I'm giving it the green light for folks who like that earthy, down-to-earth, rootsy kind of music. This has it. This, this is it. This is good. Okay? Pick up on that. So, I guess, so there's my review. I was able to just, that's what I need to say about it. There's my review of the Josh Hoyer album. Yeah, I'm pumped up. I enjoy people. I enjoy communicating. Um, I enjoy sharing stuff that's important and I think will be helpful. And um, I got a lot of positive reaction. And uh, the cameraman even said to me as I was about to leave, he said, you inspired me today. Thank you. That's what it's all about, people. Just want to share that with you.